I'm about two hours outside of Nashville, Tennessee today at this really epic two-story ultra-modern tree house. There is a gorgeous lake in the background. You also have a hot tub and a ton of outdoor deck space. There is so much that this Airbnb has to offer. I can't wait for you all to see it. So let's now hop straight into the tour. Welcome to this really slick and modern treehouse out here in Tennessee. You'll begin by coming down this windy driveway and you'll then catch your first glimpse of the treehouse. The exterior is definitely unique. Let's walk down this way though and you'll then enter into one of the first main outdoor spaces. This is the fire pit and hot tub area. So you have a really nice sitting area on this one side and this really gigantic hot tub that can easily fit, I would say four to six people. And as the day progresses, the darker it gets out, so you can then flip on some of these string lights that go up top and it's truly a magical setting. You can then just look out towards the lake as well and into the wilderness. We'll get to that more a little later. This gives you a bit more of an aerial perspective of the hot tub area we were just at. Let's now zoom out a bit to check out the overall exterior with this main part here. And this is just an Airbnb unlike any other I've come across before. It is just gigantic and black and towering above everything else. I've always been a huge fan of architecture. I just loved this entire layout, all the windows, everything it has to offer. And when it gets to be around sunsets, you can flip a switch and turn on all the lights and I think it looks just absolutely gorgeous at night. Let's now go and check out the outdoor deck space as there is a lot of it starting right here. This is next to the hot tub area. You have this cool lounge space with these two chairs and a grill. This kind of gives you a better idea of this entire layout and then directly connected to this deck we're currently at, you can go even further down these steps. This is now underneath the home and you have a dining table here with four chairs. Finally, I'll call this the walkway. It extends beyond the home. So if we walk down this, or I guess fly down this, we're actually gonna go off the edge here with my drone to check out the area. And this is called Center Hill Lake. It's quite a large lake here in Tennessee. And if we zoom all the way out, you can see more of the surrounding areas. It's really beautiful. We can just see all these green trees and bridges and the lake everywhere, even this cool marina but that will do it for the exterior. Let's now go inside. Welcome to the interior. It's a very open floor plan, starting with the kitchen on the left, some bedrooms through that hallway, your dining area, then the living room over on the right-hand side. We'll start here in the kitchen first though. So you have this nice table with three chairs, your mugs, your plates, a guidebook on the home and the surrounding area. This is definitely a nice setup. And if we now go behind this table area, you're gonna to come to some of your appliances. So you have everything here, like your stove top, your oven, your microwave, glasses, mugs, coffee supplies. It's all very well stocked. You also have a stainless steel fridge off to one hand side. If we go to this little room on the left, there is a washer and dryer unit. Then on the opposite end, and on the right hand side, this is just some cleaning supplies that are here. We'll now exit the kitchen to check out the rest in this main room. If we go on this way and then switch back around, I love this angle. You can see how tall the ceilings are and how open this space is. You then have two of these chairs and the sitting area against the wall. And then right near that, this is your dining table setup. So you have six chairs right here and a really nice and simple dining table. We'll continue further down into this main room to the living room area. I loved these windows. You can also see it as well here from the exterior looking back in. But you had this absolutely massive couch. I think this is the largest couch I've ever come across in an Airbnb. But we kind of circle around now and come inside. You can probably fit, I would say, seven to eight people along this couch. Then along the opposite wall, you have a fireplace and a smart TV is all the way up top there. Even a karaoke machine is over there on the left. This is a really fun space. 
Let's now go and begin to check out some of the bedrooms in this home. So we'll go down this hallway, which is right next to the living room and come into the first of four bedrooms in this Airbnb. This is a queen size mattress. You also have a full length mirror. And then in this one corner, that door right there will take you into the ensuite bathroom. So if you come inside, you have a cool countertop space, your sink, your toilet on the left. And then against the far wall, this right here is a very clean and modern shower. Still inside the same bedroom, if we pop outside this door, it will take you to your own private balcony. And this drone shot kind of gives you a better idea of the layouts. Right now we're on the top floor. We'll head to the bottom floor in just a bit. In the main room again, there's a hallway back there, which will take us to an entire new side of the home we have not explored yet. There are three rooms back here for us to check out, two bedrooms and a bathroom. In this one corner, you have a large sink and a mirror that is meant for the bathroom, which is also nearby. It's a very similar layout to the bathroom we saw earlier. We'll now head into this room on the left. This will take us into another bedroom. You have a queen size mattress over here on the left hand side. And then nearby along this wall, you have a fan, some storage space, a seat, artwork, a TV, and then some bunk beds. So this is a great room, I think, to put the kids in. Now the bathroom is in the middle and the room on the right is another bedroom. It's essentially very similar to the other bedroom that we just saw. We said that you have a couch, so I won't spend a ton of time in here. We'll now head down these stairs and go to the final bedroom, which is my favorite bedroom. And there's some artwork down these stairs. And if we continue down, there's this cute little sitting area. You have two chairs and this nice piece of artwork, which is right outside the bedroom. We'll now head on inside, and this is where I decide to sleep between all the four different bedrooms. It's a pretty similar setup to the other queen-sized room, but I just personally enjoyed all of the pillows, the bedding, some of the artwork, more than the other bedrooms in the home. On this far wall, there's a bench with a fan and also a small television. Through that door then, you have this same outdoor deck space. We're just now on the bottom floor. The other bedroom is directly above us. And then you have this same exact layout for this bathroom. It's the same ensuite bathroom, very clean and has everything you need. Thanks for watching my video guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give the video a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support and I'll catch you next week for another Airbnb tour.